So honestly, they out here. Listen, in Maryland, they was out here attacking people. They attacked the whole garbage man. All he trying to do is pick up the trash. One day of them not working has now set us back. But they haven't just not worked for one day. They've not worked for three days. Hey y'all, got some breaking news. I'm out here delivering Uber Eats. Well, that's not the breaking news, but the breaking news that I have is about the port strike. If you have not heard, they have agreed, the ILA has agreed to postpone this strike and go back to work on tomorrow, Friday. They're going to postpone it to January 15th. So even though I'm telling you that this is done, that they're going back to work, at least until January 15th when it comes back up for negotiations to see if they are going to have the settlement made or not, you still need to be preparing. Prices are still going up regardless. We all see it. Nothing is changing other than the fact that the port will be open. And yes, shipments will come in. But they've been raising the prices regardless anyway. So think about the storm that just left. Keep that in the back of your mind and get yourself prepared the best you can. All you can do is what you can do. I do not like how people can just play with the economy, how they can play with the lives of people um, in their pocketbooks. And I don't care who it is. I don't like how they do that. Yes, they, they want what they want, but at the risk of, I don't care if you have what you need in your home. Um, they knew the consequences of that. Meanwhile, I'm out here delivering Uber Eats to people who are staying in hotels with family members. I'm delivering medication. Y'all know there's going to be a medication shortage, so go ahead and get your medication as well. But I'm delivering all this stuff while they playing around with, oh, we need what we need, but don't care what nobody else need. I'm just saying, make it make sense. We have to have compassion for the next person. We do. It can't just be all about what we want. That's why the world is where it is right now, y'all. But people are still suffering. People are still in need of food, water, clothes, etc. They need all of those items. And they playing around with, oh, we going to strike, so we ain't going to work for three days. Now the shelves are going to be even more short. We already short here in North Carolina and in it wherever what Tennessee South Carolina Georgia Florida already short shelved now we're gonna be even more short shelved because of these three days that they fooled around with that ticks me off and I'm, I try not to let a lot of things bother me lately but knowing that people have needs and wants out here there is a cash shortage happening right now here in North Carolina. I don't know about anywhere else. If it's somewhere else, let me know in the comments, y'all. But in North Carolina, there is a cash shortage. Many places you go, they have a sign posted. We are not accepting either cash or we are not accepting either card. Walmart, when I went to do a money gram for my oldest son, you can send money, but you can't receive money in the North Carolina, in Hickory, Walmart. There is no Walmart in Western North Carolina. There is no Lowe's. There are no gas stations. There are no food, no restaurants. People literally don't have a place to stay. But they playing around. Let me go, cause let me go. Bye, y'all. Just check out the rest of the video and um, leave your likes definitely, cause it helps the video get out to more people. More people need to know the foolishness that's going on in the United States. So y'all take care. Just a little quick breaking news for you, and I may have another story for you later today. Okay. 
And as water rushed down from the upstate, one area of the low country is under a flood warning. What this could mean for your home and safety. Life I 45,000 workers are heading back to work tomorrow after three days of ILA dock workers on the picket lines. The strike is now suspended. U.S. dock workers agreed to suspend the strike until January 15th to provide time to negotiate a new contract. Ports shut down here in the low country and up the east coast from Maine to Texas are slated to be back up and running tomorrow as dock workers with the union head back. Charles Brave, president for local ILA 1422 says they are still working to finalize those specific details. So honestly, they out here, listen, in Maryland, they was out here attacking people. They attacked the whole garbage man. All he trying to do is pick up the trash just to end it, which I'm glad they're ending it. But guess what? That does not change the fact that one day of them not working has now set us back but they haven't just not worked for one day they've not worked for three days those three days are going to be months worth of backlog believe that okay so we still not out of the water things have a way of trickling down go out and get yourself stocked up as soon as you possibly can and even if it's not just because you know that the shelves are going to be a little bit empty do it because you know you need extra food in your home do it for someone else that you know that's not going to do it or do it for an elderly neighbor or an elderly family member it is so important to prep up we have to know that these things are not changing there's always going to be an emergency. There's always going to be a natural disaster. So why not prepare ahead of time as much as you possibly can? Create that go bag. Put the items in it that you need. Get your medications. Get your um, shelf-stable food and all of those items. Y'all, I know it's dark. I'm sorry. But I'm just, I'm so annoyed. I'm glad that they stopped the strike. Don't get me wrong. But we're still going to experience shortages on the shelves because those three days have hurt us it's, it's just completely empty it's just completely empty Paradise, paradise. I'm taking you to paradise. 
not the prize, yeah. Paradise, paradise, I'm taking you. Come and take a seat next to me, babe. Let this pretty view take your breath away. Baby, we deserve a break from our old ways. Anywhere's home when you're with me. Come and take a seat next to me, babe. Let this pretty view take your breath away. Baby, we deserve a break from our old ways. Cause I'm taking you